Alright, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be starting a brand new series. Now that we're done with Game of Thrones, it's time for a brand new show. And that series is Peaky Blinders. Now, I'm really interested in this series because of two reasons. I know it's starring Cillian Murphy, which, who I absolutely love, one of my favorite actors, and it has Tom Hardy in it. Two of my favorite actors I really, really, really love. And it just seems like a really interesting concept. You know, I'm pretty sure it's about like these British gangsters and they're just basically, they're just having like turf wars or something like that. It's just a life of British gangsters, right? That sounds awesome. So I'm really damn excited for it. You know, and one thing that got me really interested in the show too is like every now and then I'll be on like my Instagram explore page and I'll just see like quotes from the show. Like it'll be a picture of Cillian Murphy, his character. And it'll have like a quote he says or whatever. Some of them are kind of corny, not gonna lie. But then some of them are like, damn, that hits. Damn, he's a very wise man. So it makes me want to watch it really badly. So I'm gonna stop wasting time. We're just gonna hop right into this episode. If you'd like to watch the following three actions, that'll be available on Patreon. As well, early access to the next two episodes of Peaky Blinders will also be available on Patreon. So let's get started. The music right now, like the beat. Yeah, it kind of sounds like the Pink Panther. They're doing a magic spell to make a winner race. The horse's name is Monaghan Boy. Kempton, three o'clock, Monday. I was talking to my friend about this show too. He's already seen it all, but he pretty much said like, it's everyone just playing like chess against each other. You know, and I was like, okay, well that's pretty much how Game of Thrones was too. What are these bunch of like odds betters in here? It's like they run everyone's bets in the back. This is like the OG DraftKings. <laughs> or like OG my bookie. I'm guessing that's what they're doing. Something like that. Something like that. Times are hard. People need a reason to lay a bet. Women say she's a witch. It helps them believe. Chinese have cutters of their own. I'm taking charge of drumming up new money. What if Monaghan Boy wins? Tommy, you fix him races now. Gone, the Chinese and Billy Kimber. Billy's got a bloody mm. army! I think. So that you don't have to. Well, you better think through every step. Or if you don't, someone's gonna be pissed and they're gonna come right after you. They're gonna come after Arthur first. You know, because uh, he's in charge of everything. We're here today to take a vote on strike action. Yes! yes. Children's feet! Yes. And what is the reward they offer you for your sacrifices made? A fucking cut in your wages! That is your reward! Raise a hand, all those who want to strike! Freddy Thorne. On the ass with the Shelby? Take a mile. Right. Bruh, that's about to start a fight. Crown of a prince. Soon to be king, I'd bet. You don't bet. These past few days I've been speculating. One of my union comrades is a sister. Works in a telegraph office at the BSA factory. Says over the past week they've had messages coming up from London to the brass. From Winston Churchill himself. Hmm. I remember learning about him in school. <laughs> Something about a robbery. A robbery of national significance, I said. He found a list of names. Left on the telegraph machine. And on that list was your name and my name together. Perhaps it's a list of men who give false hope to the poor. The only difference between you and me, Freddy, is that sometimes my horses stand a chance of winning. Damn! You know, there are days when I hear about the cuttings and beatings that I really wish I'd let you take that bullet in France. There are nights I wish you had. <laughs> Damn, Thomas just defused everything. What the hell is going on? Hey, We're all home in England. You're not in France. Mm. That's an artillery shell, Danny. You're a man. Hey! Bang! You're a human being, Danny. You're all right. You're is he having like PTSD? Yeah, is he getting like World War One flashbacks? Like, did he serve in that? Because it's 1919. World War One is over now. Like, it, it ended in 1918, I think. Mr. Shelby, you have to do something about it. Damn right, Harry. 
You pay the Peaky Blinders a lot of money for protection. Maybe you should put a bullet in Danny Wizbang's head like they do with mad horses. No. No. Maybe you'll have to put a bullet in my head someday too. You probably will by the end of season one. I feel like it's happen I feel like it's gonna happen. Bring the bill to the Peaky Blinders. Mm. Recognize it. Alright, okay, imagine this is the gun right here. Boom! What the fuck did you do that for? Finn was playing with this this afternoon by the cut. It was mm. loaded. Nearly blew Ada's tits off. It must have fell out of my pocket. He said he found it on the sideboard of the betting shop. With bullets. Damn. Jesus, bro. So irresponsible. When are you yeah. not drunk? Oh, I'm, Paul. I'm sorry. Um, um. We'll keep this between ourselves if you swear not to leave guns lying around. All right, so they're cool. He's just being a di he's just being a dummy and left his gun around. Okay, she taught him a lesson. If you're over five feet and can fight, come to Birmingham. Hmm. <laughs> to clean up the city, Ada. He's the chief inspector. The last four years, he's been clearing the IRA out of Belfast. And why didn't you tell me? I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon it's communists he's after. So this copper's gonna leave us alone, right? Anyway, we're peaky blinders. We're not scared of coppers. That's right. If they come for us, we'll cut them a smile each. You have nothing more to say to this meeting, Thomas? No. I have ten minutes. What do you want? An explanation. Always been able to tell when you're hiding something. Hmm. Detectives have been asking questions in the proofing shops. Nothing happens in that factory without you knowing about it. Speak, God and Aunt Polly are listening. It was meant to be routine. I asked my men to steal me four bikes with petrol engines. I'm guessing my men were drunk. They picked up the wrong fucking crate. <sighs> they must have taken it from the proofing bay instead of the export bay. So what they get instead? Oh. Maybe of Mary. Inside Ooh. we found 25 Lewis machine guns, thousand rounds of ammunition, Ooh. 50 semi-automatic rifles, 200 pistols with shells. Jesus, Tommy. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Oh, I'm supposed to go to Libya. We put them in the stables out of the rain. The guns hadn't been greased yet. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. So that's why they sent a cop from Belfast. Yep. Maybe, maybe not. No, that's definitely why. Thomas, you're a bookmaker, a robber, a fighting man. You're not a fool. You sell those guns to anyone who has use to them. You will hang. Mm-hmm. Dump them somewhere the police can find them. Maybe if they know they haven't fallen into the wrong hands, this might blow over. Tell Charlie to dump them tonight. No. What? He won't move contraband under a full moon. Mm. Three days until it wanes. We have your mother's common sense. It's your father's devilment. See them fighting. Let your mother win. <laughs> Come on, Thomas. Do the right thing. Get uh, dump the guns. Come on. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Why they they sent the cop from Belfast. We don't know for sure. That's why they're here, or the cop is here. But that's per it's pretty obvious. It's I think it's pretty safe to assume that yeah, that's why. But you love me more than you fear them, right? So, we'll tell them. When? How did the family meeting go? So is this Thomas's sister? Okay, so no one knows about their, like, relationship going. I feel like Thomas isn't gonna like that very much. Because obviously that guy and Tommy, they clearly don't like each other. At one point, something happened, for the, happened between them, you know, so... I'm here about the job as a barmaid. Do you know about this place? I saw it in an advertisement. Job advertisement? Believe me, love. I'm doing you a favor. I'm not asking for favors. I'm asking for employment. You too. Nice. And too pretty. What part of Ireland are you from? Galway. I worked in Dublin. My mother was from Galway. You too pretty. Watch and listen. Mm. My boyhood friends and my own. Was her singing supposed to calm all the dudes in here down or something? Yeah, get them all to like chill out. Cause you know, there's a lot of testosterone going on in this bar. 
And he's like, worry. The owner's like, nah, dude. Like, you're not safe here. Made them cry and stop them fighting. Well, I have. You know a lot of songs. Yeah. <laughs> Beggars and thieves left to run on the streets. The peaky blinders. The vicious, merciless gangs mm -hmm. who blind those at sea. Cut out the tongues of those who talk. Damn. These are the new men who will bolster your ranks. They will be sworn in and in uniform, and by sunrise tomorrow, they will be on the streets. Mm. Mm, they're after, oh, yep, after Arthur. Damn. Lead pack dog of the Peaky Blinders. Oof. Yeah, this guy wants to strike fear in Arthur Shelby so then they like fuck off and make them scared to make a move or anything, but no, I that's gonna backfire, I feel like. Now, Mr. Shelby, I want you to see this is me introducing myself to you. Yep. The only thing that interests me. It's the truth, so... Wear me guns. What do you know about the robbery? Good robbery. Mmm, aw, dude, that's gonna break his fucking shoulder. Hey, we'll ask you again. Well, bro... What do you know about the robbery? Dude, I know multiple robberies, you gotta be specific. What fucking robbery?! Mm. Fuck. Just br mm, fucking fucked up his shoulder. Ah. I can tell just by snuffing the air whether or not you're lying. All right. I'm not fucking lying. Yeah, I feel like he doesn't know about it. Only Thomas and like his crew, his pe his boys know about it. To have you and the rest of your scum family face down on the canal before the year is out. That. The other hand, we can help each other. Mm. Nah, see, now this is where Thomas comes in, and he has to figure out a way to play chess around this guy. Maybe help him out, gain his trust, but then fuck him over completely. It's kinda, that's kind of like where I see this going. Or it's going to just start the fast war ever between the Peaky Blinders and this guy. Drax, whatever it is, it's on the house. Thank you. Yep, Thomas likes her. It's on the house. Are you a whore? Because if you're not, you're in the wrong place. I mean, bro, that was a pretty, pretty rude question, to, you know? Like, I feel like that question caught her off guard. It's like Game of Thrones in that sense, you know? Like, Lucky for you, since he got back from France. Tommy doesn't want anybody at all. The church you sent into Birmingham. National interest, he said. Something about a robbery. Yeah, the guns. <sighs> Only Tommy knows about it. I know all about her war records. I said, we'd have a family meeting. Take a vote. Well, why not? What the fuck is wrong with him lately? Because he knows it. Because Tommy is responsible for exactly why they're here. And he, I feel like he doesn't want to tell him. He, he can't just be like, yo, I know where the guns are. We have the guns. We stole them by accident. Like, that's, I feel like, I, I don't know the dude's name yet. The dude who just beat the shit out of Arthur. He's gonna like kill him or something. If like, you know, he finds out we did it, then like, yeah, we're all getting arrested. We're all getting hung probably. So you can't just be like, yeah, I know where we are. We accidentally sold them. Like, no. Nah. So we have to like kind of figure out a way to like, to like work with them in a way that doesn't make us look like we stole them <laughs> and get them back to them. So did Arthur say uh, kind of a deal this new copper offered him? Like his fights onto the mud. You know what he'd do if he found out about us? He could try. Mm. Sometimes it's like you're with me just to show you can. One day me and Tommy will be on the same side again. Mm. I don't know about that one. I feel like Tommy's gonna kill you. Something between you two is gonna go down. The you uh, uh, the World War One flashbacks. Is that what this is? So I guess we'll slowly find out what happened in the war and everything. Go home, crazy man. I say go home, crazy man. Oh, bro. I said go home. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, bro. Fuck. Okay, okay. 
Why the hell did the store owner even pull a knife on him? Like, what the fuck? I mean, shit, it's 1919. Shit's different times, I guess. That dude is Italian, too. He started speaking Italian. The fool does not fuck around. So, fucking war flashback. So, of course, he's going to attack you. He thinks you're about to try and kill him, which you probably were going to, too. So. Chill, sir. Hmm. I've set up a command network. I have agents in place across the city who will act as my eyes and ears. And I've begun to interrogate suspects vigorously, sir. So who do you think stole the guns? If it is the IRA Fenians, I will find them and find the guns. If it is the communists, I will find them and find the guns. If it is common criminals, I will find them and find the guns. To me, there is no distinction between any of the above. Remember this, Mr. Campbell. This is England, not Belfast. Bodies thrown in the rivers wash up in the papers here. Mm-hmm. The existence of these stolen guns out of the news, otherwise we're simply yeah. advertising them for sale. If there are bodies to be buried, dig holes and dig them deep. I want everything accounted for, down to the last bullet. Hmm, OK, we're taking it. Yeah, we're moving everything. Well, Charlie. A word. Yeah, it's been three days. I changed my mind. Bruh. I have an alternative strategy. Hmm, what is it? Tell Curly to take her out to the old tobacco wharf. He knows it. It's no longer your concern. Have you lost your fucking mind? They're gonna trace it back to here though, when, in a couple episodes and kill this guy. Oh, I'm mean to find these things. That's right. They've shown their hand. Brand. If they want them back this bad, they'll have to pay. Mm. That's the way of the world. Put on the back of the cuts. Bro, that's gonna get everyone killed. That's going to bring only hell down on your head. Mm-hmm. This copper takes no prisoners. And there will be bloodshed. Another war you're looking for, Tommy. Mm-hmm. God damn it, Tommy. All because you just want to profit out of it? Like, you want to sell them back to him? <sighs> greed, greed, greed. Money, 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 money. I am, sir. Mm, oh my fucking gosh, she's an op! <sighs> she's an undercover op. Have you found anything out that might help me? I interrogated the head of the Peaky Blinders. He didn't know anything. It strikes me that it isn't Arthur who heads the Shelby family. Mm. It's the younger one. Mm-hmm. Thomas. They say he won two medals for gallantry in the war. Damn. You sound fascinated. Yeah, I feel like she does like him. My opinion has not changed. Yeah, she's gonna fall in love with him and then She's gonna have to like tell them how she's an undercover when she's like deep into their like family and stuff. The guns were taken by the IRA. You must not let your personal history clear your judgment. The IRA murdered my father will not affect my judgment. If you see any guns, check the serial numbers against that list. Those two men over there are his brothers. Ooh. If I let the Italians do this, Danny, I'll cut off your manhood and let you drain. That's how those bastards do things. So to stop a war breaking out between us and the Italians. Can I say her sorry? To save you from their barbarity. Mm. It's about to kill Danny? I said I would dispatch you myself. Wow. They are here to witness. Fuck, that's so brutal. Damn. I died over there anyway, Tommy. Oh. You have any last requests, comrade? You look after my Rosie. And my boys. Mm-hmm. You're a good man. And a good soldier. It's so tough, dude. Oh! Damn. <sighs> R.I.P. R.I.P. He had to, though, to prevent the war between the Italians. He put he won. Monaghan boy, bloody one! Yeah, it won, and word will spread. So the next time we do the powder trick, it won't be just a garrison that'll bet on the horse. And that time, when we are ready, the horse will lose. <laughs> <laughs> Think about it. Hope you're right, Tommy. I hope you're right. Mm. Wait, how? He's not dead? Wait, what? How did he survive that? Are you sure this isn't heaven? Tommy wanted you to think it was real. Okay. The shell okay. full of sheep brain, so it's pretty bad. Aye. Oh, okay. So where are you taking me? London. Tommy has a little job for you. So they faked his death 
in front of the Italians. So the Italians, okay, 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 shit. Smart, a certain type of bullet. So you knew it wouldn't have killed him. Yeah, they're definitely gonna get together. They're definitely gonna get together. All right, well that was Peaky Blinders season one, episode one. All right, so that was Peaky Blinders episode one. Pretty strong episode, pretty strong episode that set everything up, you know? So Thomas and his crew accidentally stole some guns, right? So Winston Churchill sent, sent his boys to come and investigate and be like, get me my guns back. They were gonna ship them out, but then Thomas was like, no, I have a new strategy. Okay, that's gonna start a damn war. That's just, that people are gonna die. I feel like someone in this family is gonna die and everything and i feel like by the end of it by the end of this season freddy's probably gonna die because like dude they, they they're just foreshadowing it you know like freddy made a couple comments and you're like okay yeah he's he's probably gonna die thomas is probably gonna be the one to kill him too so and then like that girl um so she works at the bar now and she only she works there so to find out more information about the peaky blinders and everything and she knows that thomas is really the one who runs everything arthur doesn't you know arthur's like the main head guy but Tom thomas is the one who really runs shit so but okay i feel like the way they're kind of looking at each other kind of just it implies that they like each other they're probably gonna fall in love she's not gonna be able to kind of fuck them over when the time comes like she's gonna find out information like they have the guns and everything because th they still don't know who have the guns they think the ira has them something like that or they're either between the communists or the ira right and she told the dude at the end like i think the ira has them or whatever but i feel like she's gonna get really close to thomas and then she's gonna find out he really has them and then she's gonna be like i don't know if she's gonna be able to fuck him over or not and be like report it back to the main dude so we'll see about that i love like the aesthetic of it i love the vibe of it you know like thomas's attitude i like it i like it a lot because he's really good at diffusing stuff and like like when I was talking to my friend about their show, he was like, Thomas Shelby is a fucking man. My friend was like, Thomas Shelby makes me want to be a better man. <laughs> Some characters come to my head too when I think about that. Like Jon Snow, for example, you know, it's like, yeah, we could all strive to be like Jon Snow, you know? But yeah, I'm excited to get into episode two. So comment down below what you thought about this episode down below in the comments. And if you liked the video, like the video. And thanks for watching.